Nair Nair. The men who betrayed me. My old company. Holed up like the rats that they are. But it ain't just that. Revenge ain't my primary motive. My primary motive is profit. Only thing about this is we can kill two birds with one stone. If we take out the ammunition dump in the place, then there ain't no way they can blow a hole in the bank they were planning on robbing, which leaves us to do it when I can figure a way. Here's some dynamite to do the job. And if one of you gets the opportunity to kill my so-called lifelong best friend and business partner, well, that'll be fine, too. I best stay here. I don't want them to know I'm behind this. Much as I like to shoot every last one of them. So good luck. I'll watch how you get on. Get on. Get on. An oh, that's eye him. For an eye. A tooth for a tooth. A knife in the back for a knife in the back. Go away, old man. Nice world, Mr. Finch. We are what we are, and what you are is a pathetic old man. So it goes. But remember, it don't have to be like this. There's more than one way to earn a buck. Oh, and I saw your friend Horley. He said to say thank you for attending to his business. Said you'd understand. Not sure I do. Like I said, good luck. I'll watch how you get on. Thanks. <laughs> Hello? Ha 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 Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Got you, 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 got you. Death makes my life much easier. Now we won't have the army going after the same banks as we are. We can never get the planning of it. I'll be in touch if I can. And I'll be in Blackwater. And your bounty will be in any sheriff's office. I said away with you, old bastard. Ah, oh, you'll hear me in your sleep, Finch. They see me? My fucking hat! Oh what? I can't kill? I think I just did. Hey, what the hell happened to my fucking beer? What else my goatee? Madam, I implore you to be sensible. Oh, I am being sensible. I swore I would kill doubt each it. and every one of them. And the way I see it, I will do. I'm afraid my mind's made here? up. Of Mrs. LeClerc, Teddy Brown. He's just a second-rate common no-good horse thief. 
You kill him and the rest of his boys, well, you'll wind up in jail, or worse. And we will never find out who killed your husband. You know it, and I know it. I believe Teddy Brown killed my husband. If he did so, he did it on behalf of his sister, her husband, or Jeremiah Shaw. Perhaps, Besides, but... he's holed up in there, besieged by marshals. Marshals? What, what the hell happened to my fucking goatee? That's why we'll send in our professionals to get the job done, and no one will know you had anything to do with it. It's too early to show your hand, madam. Okay. You, come with me. And remember, these are the people that put you in jail. So don't overly concern yourself with pity. Madam, stay here. Please. We both know that's probably not going to happen, bro. You got to go. Now, I know you're willing to do good oh, and bad as it suits you. You fucking assholes. Maybe that's everyone's right. And maybe it's the right way to be. You seem to live by your own rules. In some ways, I admire that. Although maybe at times you... Yeah, that was about time you were... Picking up the base. Confusing? I don't know. But I hope, either way, good, bad, or plain indifferent, after all she has done for you, that you will be loyal to my mistress. Kill Teddy Brown, not out of vengeance or righteousness, but out of duty to her. Compassion for her. She thinks he got away with taking my master and taking your freedom. Show him he has it. It's what you owe. Brown's shown himself to be a desperado, more than his other three conspirators. Wears a gun on his hip like the one that shot my master. Dangerous. And he's made himself very hard to kill. You get close enough, and you'll see. I've tried to make the fight somewhat even. Then just wait till you get there, okay? The marshals uh. and the men were in hot water when I left them. Pushed off their guns and almost out of the fight. Let's hope things have improved a touch. There's the fort. We'll find the marshal. Up here. Come on. They were on the other side of this. Are you getting on, marshal? No. That bastard is holed up tight as he can be. I've already had two men shot since last we spoke. That's too bad. Luckily, I brought in the cavalry, so to speak. You have, huh? Yes. My associates. And what's more, I think I found a way of ensuring they don't get themselves shot. Like your deputies. Put those on. Teddy Brown is a bad man. One of the worst. But those folk in Blackwater, powerful folk, who asked my boss to get me to leave him alone. I can imagine. Amos Lansing and Jeremiah Shaw, perhaps? You know, I don't know. Maybe. My lord. Find out who? Look at you. I read about this. Australian, I believe. Always wanted to see if it Holy works. Holy shit. My friends, let me take you up. Come on. Bring us Teddy Brown. Dead or alive. I know the place. Hey 
Yeah. How you doing? That's what you get, boy. You got the same thing we got, only a bit more golden. husband who killed my husband your husband that little milk sot <laughs> I guess I imagine he was your brother no woman would ever marry his kind oh. <laughs> I did kill him I did it and he was begging for his life <laughs> pathetic really who put you up to <laughs> it who Lady, that's none of your damn business. Well, that sounds nice. Then I guess we'll kill the lot of them. That's one down, three to go. Mr. Horley, pay our friends for their service. Thank you. We shall be in touch. Hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye everybody.